Okay, so here you can see our restoration that came out of the mill. What we tend to find when I leave my incisal, um, or sorry, my uh, occlusal offset at zero, the incisal sometimes comes out a little bit long. Sometimes it comes out right on the money, but usually the reason for that is depending on the milling algorithm of the software, um, I would rather have my restoration be a little bit long than a little bit short. So what I'm gonna do first is take my red pencil, okay? With this red pencil, let me see if I can grab a, a sharpener really quick here and get this sharpened. What we actually wanna do is we're gonna mark off some areas on this crown where we want to remove a little bit of material. So I'm just gonna use a 25 blade and sharpen my pencil really quick here. And we're gonna go ahead and just mark off this incisal edge where we wanna shorten this just a tiny bit. Now, if you look here, you can see where I feel like I have a, maybe a little premature contact on my model. Um, we'll go ahead and make one little tiny adjustment right here just to make sure that we get the right in size of length and to make sure that everything is seated 100% properly. So the first thing that we're gonna use, um, we've got two wheels. One is what's called a contour stone by Brassler. So it looks like this, you can get it in a wheel um, or you can get it in this cylinder type format. And these are a center type of diamond. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just make one little adjustment with the edge of this contour stone right here. And shorten off that incisal edge. And then we're gonna take this just in the interproximal. And make one little adjustment there. Now we go to seat this restoration. You can still see it looks a little bit on the long side, which is fine. Um, if we wanna be a little bit more fine on our adjustment, we also have another diamond by Brassler. It's just a cylinder diamond. Again, I believe this is a non-centered cylinder diamond. They're relatively inexpensive. Um, I tend to have a lot of Brassler products just because that's the easiest ones for me to order. So I typically have those in stock. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold it down with our finger and make a little adjustment on the inside of the ledge until we get everything how we want it, okay? So from here, we're gonna to start to develop our topographical map. And this is where I'm gonna show you that little trick with the articulating paper. So the articulating paper that I'm gonna use, just a basic Henry Shine brand. This is a thick blue. Uh, you can use AccuFilm. There's a bunch of different brands you can use. Generally speaking, I'll try to incorporate some AccuFilm if I can. Um, when I develop my topographical map first, what I'm gonna do is take the restoration off, just do a quick swipe very gentle across the tooth to see where my heights of contour my teeth are. Just like we're tracing a leaf uh, under a piece of paper. So you can see here's kind of my generalized areas of the tooth. Get that off my prep. Where I have some heights of contour. So you can see my cervical one third. You can see my mesial line angle, my distal line angle, and almost that little um, central area of the tooth. So what we're gonna do is get a blank white sheet of paper and start to develop our topographical map. So let me scoot this over. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna draw our outline of this tooth. So we're gonna take the tooth and draw a very basic shape. Something along these lines right here. Okay. So on the mesial, we're gonna have a little triangular section that we're gonna to try to keep as kind of our height of contour. In the middle, we're gonna have one little section here. And the distal, it's a pretty wide swath of tooth structure that we're gonna to try to keep. But you can see that our mesial height of contour has a lot more of a distal slope back here. So if I take this red pencil all this area marking red is areas that we're gonna to have to adjust on the crown that we're getting out of the mill. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark 
some red marks here, marks and red marks here, red marks here. And these are all areas that we're gonna go ahead and remove. Okay, we are gonna keep a little bit in our cervical third here. So this is my basic topographical map of my tooth, which we used, which is a simple piece of articulating paper. So the next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna take this tooth and you can see we already started to develop some of this, but we need to make it look a little bit more like this tooth here. So we're gonna go ahead and start making some adjustments. Now for this, I typically will use a diamond to start out. We'll start right over here. So the idea of this is trying to stay outside the blue lines. So same thing here. Try to stay outside of this blue line and adjust this tooth structure back ever so slightly. Okay. So now if we compare it to our image, you start to see how it's starting to look a little bit more close. We're gonna take our articulating paper again make some marks and you can see how it's already starting to look a lot closer to what we have here and it's already looking a lot closer to what we have here so we can go ahead and we can try it on the model and if we look from the incisal edge I still think we need to bring back this mesial incisal corner ever so slightly um, which you can actually see right here we want this blue line to be a lot wider. So what we need to do is bring this entire corner down to make that imprint on our paper be a little bit more broad. So the way that we're gonna do that is coming back in here. blue articulating paper again and you can see already how much better and how much wider that mesial and size of the corner looks already looking much more like the tooth next to it and now when we look from the incisal edge again looks a lot better and a lot closer to our tooth on the other side. So you can see how this simple piece of articulating paper can get us in the ballpark, and we'll do the rest of the fine adjustments, which I'll take some pictures of, um, by hand with our brassler wheels, which you can see here and here, and then polish things up with the feather light to get a really nice, shiny replication of the tooth next to it.